there we go there's fish what is going on everybody i am uh i don't know what i'm going for today i'm i'm gonna try to go for some sturgeon here um but i i honestly i don't know what i'm getting i think there's some striped bass in this area and uh i guess i'll find out here in a minute i know normally before i start the videos i like to catch the fish and uh, at least have it reeled in before I start, but this time I figured, you know what? We'll, uh, we'll try something different. And since I've done that, I have a feeling I'm going to lose a fish. Because you can't ever just do something new without finding a few flaws in your technique first, right? So let's reel this big bastard in and uh, see what we can get here. I hope everybody's having a great day. I, uh, I'm very excited to be back recording. I have been uh, talking with some of my buddies at Appears Legit Gaming. Uh, those guys, very fun people to play with. Uh, we got Jesse D, Silk Monkey. <laughs> Silk Monkey. Uh, <laughs> and uh, a few others uh, in the crew as well. And I'm going to put our Discord down there if you guys want to come in and chat. Get a hold of me if you guys want to do some fishing uh, on the multiplayer. Uh, other than that, life has just been normal. Um, just waiting for summer to show up right now. It's a rainy season here in Northern California, which means, uh, it's pretty gloomy. You know, some of our days are pretty nice. Um, but most of our days have been just, just gloomy, just shit. So, all right. Well, not sure how long this is going to take me and, uh, Hopefully I can actually get through a whole session here without having any sort of weird glitches or anything that was going on like last time. Uh, I think I'm done with Alberta for now. Uh, I'm, I'm over here in California and so far I'm liking it. I got myself a trophy striped bass before I started the recording and uh, looks like I got something pretty decent size right now too. I Obviously I need to upgrade my gear. Um, this setup here is uh, definitely being pushed to its limits, so we'll see if I can get it in. If I can, great. If I can't, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I, I guess we'll find out. All right, there we go. That was a little jank, but we did it. little janky, but we did it. Oh, look at that beauty. White sturgeon, 33 and a half pound. Now that's a sexy bitch right there. Look at that fish. Very, very nice. Now that's a good way to start out a day, right? That's a perfect way to start a day out on the water. Look at that money too. 2300 bucks. That's not too bad. Um, but I do have, uh, right now I think I'm on uh, the, uh, what is it called? The Prime or Premier Elite, whatever. I don't know. So I'm getting a little bit more money than uh, I normally would. Uh, my experience would be is a little bit more uh, boosted as well. So we're going to keep that. So we'll go ahead and show you guys where we're at now and what I'm doing. All right, California, we're here at the, uh, we're fishing the beaver, giggity. Um, you can see our time here. We're at peak fishing time and we've got until about nine o'clock and then things are just going to go to complete garbage. So we've got some time there. For the inventory, I am using the Phoenix 1410. Uh, line weight is 5 to 22 pounds, which is why it took me forever to get that 33 and a half pounder in. Um, of course, I've got a, a reel, which is not much better. A max drag at 18.7 pounds. Using the chubby. Giggity, a three aught hook, large cut bait. Large cut bait seems to be the shit. I have fished here with crawfish, uh, cut bait, medium cut bait. Um, what else? Uh, shiners. Um, I've used all sorts of, of bait in this area, and I have gotten just nothing. This has been the best fishing I've had so far. So this is my setup. Uh, for the braid, it's the 20 pound test, I believe. Yeah. Yep. 20 pound test, uh, which will stress the reel 
if I mean if you don't have your shit set up right, it's gonna stress your rod and your reel if your line is stronger than your equipment, obviously, right? So you gotta take into a, account um, how you have everything set up. So the first thing that I caught was this trophy striped bass. Uh, this was before I started the video, and then I thought, hey, I should um, I should record this. Let's see what we can get. So now we're on to sturgeon, which is exactly what I've been going for. Uh, for the last couple of days now and have just gotten skunked so let's get back out there and uh, we'll see how far out we need to be now I've been throwing out a little bit further than I should be and I'm kinda reeling back in to find this ledge there's a lip that you're gonna wanna look for and basically I think it's around 70 feet I think maybe not here Waiting for that bobber to go straight up. We're close. 60 feet. There we go. That's the lip we're looking for. So this is the area that we want to be. You see there's that tree out there. You've got the fence with those rocks. I'm not really quite sure how else to tell you. I guess if you look up at where my rod tip is, you see that bush with the trees in the background. Kind of looks like somebody's giving you the middle finger. If you just go to the left of that, of the middle finger tree, then um, you should be good to go. So let's see, uh, let's see if we can't get some other fish here. Hopefully, I'll get some more striped bass. Uh, sturgeon are always fun. It does take a few minutes, so we'll uh, we'll go ahead and cut to the uh, cut to the good part. There we go. There's fish. That took me a little bit longer. I had to recast out there. We're looking at 50 feet. Um, 50 to 52 feet, I think, seems to be the the right spot. So we're going to get this one in. Maybe. I, I, I don't ever know. This if, if this one's bigger than 33 and a half pounds, I don't think there's a chance in hell that I'm actually going to get this fish in. So I know I can get a 33 pounder in for sure. But, uh, and remember, I'm working with 18 max for drag, 20 max for the line, and 22 for the rod. So, right now, everything's really dependent on my, on my reel. And whether or not I can actually pull this off. So, what I've been doing is just kind of waiting for that all the way on the right hand side that's my my real tension so I've been waiting for that to go into the green I'll give it one click at a time and see if if I can actually just go one foot at a time one foot at a time Let's see I, I'm not even I'm not even able to do one foot at a time right now so we'll, we'll see oh there we go see now I only have to get it to about, what, I think like 15 feet. Once he's at 15, I should be able to drag him up. So, nope, 14, 14, 13 feet. So there we go. Beautiful, look at that. 38.6 pounds, holy shit, that's a nice fish. That's five pounds over what I just caught. So that's that's definitely worth the wait right there. So that is the spot. So we're going to go ahead and keep that one. And uh, we're going to go 50 feet. All right. That's what we're looking for. Now, I'm not sure what that is in <laughs> meters or kilometers. I'm, I'm sorry. When it comes to that kind of stuff, I'm just, I just go straight up stupid. So I'm going to try to get it out there about 50 feet if I can. That's not even close to where I was going. That's that's just not not even better. All right, so we're gonna let it ride out. Uh, let's go about here. We're gonna let it sit right about here. So you know when I said go to the the left of the middle finger tree, go a little bit to the right because I didn't realize that the current was actually pulling it to the left so it will move a little bit 
now as now as far as uh, how many fish I get to catch you know in a certain amount of time it's not a lot it's not like I'm slaying these things every every couple of minutes um, you know so far I've, I've been recording for about 24 minutes now I've caught two fish in 24 minutes now in real life standards that's amazing that's great um, game standards it it does get a little little grindy a little boring but uh, it, it is worth it There's a lot of money in these fish a lot of experience and um, they're a lot of fun especially when you're pulling it in with gear that's under so and keep in mind that you do get more experience for using gear that's under um, unless unless that's changed so all right so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna get back out there we're gonna see if we can't pull something else in oh there we go there's another fish that one uh, that one was a little difficult I didn't really know if anything was actually biting or not uh, it's hard to tell sometimes whether or not you're getting a bite or if it's just you know if it's just found a high spot uh, in the bottom of the bait's dragon, so. Oh, that seems to be a pretty decent sized fish so far. At least, uh, at least he's a fighter. We'll see what we got here. Maybe a bass? This, uh, this one actually drifted pretty far, um, before I got any bites, so. I'm not sure. Could be a striped bass. But I'm loving catching these sturgeons. I gotta say, I'm having a lot of fun. So, uh, once again, guys, if you guys have any comments, questions, um, you know, you guys want to see me fish somewhere else, just let me know in the comments. Also, I'm gonna post up our Discord, uh, Piers Legit Gaming Network. Me and a few of my buddies are getting some games out there, and uh, we're just having fun. That's what it's all about. It's all about having fun. So, oh, this is going to be a sturgeon. This is going to be a sturgeon. And just do one foot at a time. One click at a time. <laughs> that's all right. As long as I can actually reel it in, that's all I care about. I used to... Uh, hate being on the game and having you know you go to reel in a fish and you fight it for 30 minutes i fought a fish i think my record is 45 minutes in in real lifetime <laughs> 45 minutes and uh finally just had to cut it loose i mean it was just the fish wasn't gaining any ground and i wasn't gaining any ground and, and a good old-fashioned mexican standoff there and uh i just had to cut it loose i hate doing that but you know what sometimes the fish wins It seems that they've gotten a little bit better in their programming as far as the game goes. Um, you know, as far as being able to get these fish in. But we'll see. There's there's still a chance I might lose this one. There's still that chance. Part of me wants to do it like I do when a halibut fish, you know. Go up and then down and then up and then down try and do it like this. this is what we do when we're on the boat and we're halibut fishing and just pull up and reel down really fast pull up and reel down really fast that's what gets them hey shit that actually worked look at that beautiful fish one of the smallest ones i caught and it put up the most fight so that's gonna do it for me today guys i want to thank you so much for hanging out watching my video hopefully this helps you in your ventures to get some sturgeon out of california and fishing planet and uh, like i said if there's any questions comments concerns hate mail anything like that the comment boxes are down below uh, as well as my discord link if you guys want to hook up and do some fishing online uh, let's do it you guys want to pick my brain uh, play some other games let me know this is what we do. We're just a big old gaming community. All right, guys. As always, have a fantastic day, night, evening, and uh, happy fishing.